We're back with professional organizer Jill Pollock, who's going to show us how to organize our pantry, which is another daunting place because, you know, it's pretty scary what we collect along the years. Yeah, it yeah. all goes way deep, deep in the back. And, you know, good pantry organization is the first step to good health and yeah. obviously, you know, good good weight loss, if that's, that's what you right. want, because you right. can get you good snacks. So we got, where's this from? This is from? This is an Ikea, actually, it's an Ikea wardrobe, but it's actually a genius kind of pantry device as well because... I mean, what do I love more than a pull-out yeah, shelf? It's exactly. like a drawer shelf thing. It's all together. And that's one of the problems, because pantries are very deep. So like, you know, all this halfway back, it's gone. It's yeah, the black hole. Right. It's gone. You don't know what you have, and you just keep buying split pea soup, and you realize that you have 100 <laughs> cans of split pea <laughs> I do. soup. Do you know how many ketchup bottles I have? I'll talk to you about that later. Really? I have mm -hmm. to, I know. I, I think I need ketchup all the time I yeah, say that. right. So the first thing you want us to do is to empty the whole thing out. Empty it out, because let's be honest. I mean, right here... Everyone has these little boutique-y things, right? How many little boutique jam things you've got in the Christmas bag? Oh, that looks good. I'll try that chutney one day. Never will you try it. It will expire and it will go away. So just be realistic and be like, I will never have this. I'm going to pass it on. And just give it to someone. Just pass it on in the first place. I agree with that. <laughs> re-gift. I'm not ashamed to re-gift, okay? Get rid of things that you know. Like, I guess at one point, the sun-dried tomato concept was a good idea. I know you used to, can soak it to revive them, but these, I think, are petrified, so they yeah, are yeah. not Well, to be we could used. use them in the planters outside. You know, we could do that. You I, mean, a, I mean, but back to the earth, Back maybe. to the earth. But the thing is, when you do, when you empty everything out, you have to look at the expiry dates, and do oh, I really yeah. use this? Exactly. Yeah. That's the... I mean, that is the key to all organization, I know, that's isn't so it? True, yeah. Like, what are you not wearing? What are you not eating? What are you not using? What's expired? Because mm -hmm. in here, there were expired things. You're not going to eat them, okay? Organized by level. Level. Okay, so here's a great tip. Now, this is a category of things. Think in categories, like underwear and socks, generally in the same drawer or in the same vicinity, okay. right? Your undergarments. So mm -hmm. this is a category that I would call carbs, basically, which I try <laughs> to avoid. But, um, but it's, so it's easy. It's light. They're light. You can pull it out and sort of search. Because if you think about putting them in there, the That's second true. you stack it in, it's getting it's lost. lost, right? But you put it in here, and you can kind of pull it out and peruse. Yeah. Okay, another tip Good is... Point. Okay, everyone buys those chip clips, okay? Mm -hmm. Let me tell you what to do. Get a thing of rubber bands and put that around your stuff, okay? Because it does it better. It's less, you're not going to lose the chip clip. Look at this. I mean, one, two, three. Done. Freshness. Exactly. <laughs> so that's a good idea. Okay, so I always keep a thing of rubber bands in my bag and categorize. This is, you know, your cereals, your chips. Mm hmm dry goods, things that, you know. If you have snack. thick shelves, then you have to kind of get, like, smaller containers and do it that way. Because yeah, because this is a good thing. Yeah. I mean, even just because, yeah. the thing is, just because they built it as a shelf doesn't mean you have to use it as a shelf. This mm -hmm. is like a drawer, right. right? And it contains things. You can easily take it and out. you could take the whole thing while you're watching TV and just plop it down in front of you in front of now, the sofa. Now, now. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> I understand I'm not it. sure what I'm I want, but I don't want to get it. with you right now. <laughs> okay. All right, okay. what else? You can also use really great organizational devices like risers for your spices, okay? That yeah. way you can see what you have. Okay, another great tip is for kids. Let's see where I put that. Kids like to get into their snacks. I don't have kids' snacks, but let's say I did. Okay. Um, you could put ra little bo raisin boxes here, mm -hmm. little fruit roll-ups here, and that way you could send your kids and be like, go to the snack drawer area, right? Look at all the This oil is shopping. This is shopping, right? You have your regular oil that you want probably out on the kitchen mm -hmm. or somewhere that you're mm -hmm. using, and this is shopping. So these are staples. You have to have an area of staples that you're using all the time. But the eye level is what? What is the eye level? Well, the eye level is stuff that, right, stuff that you use a lot of, of course. And up here, right, you know you have it. These are bigger items that you can see. They're easy to see. Mm -hmm. Another thing, because this is a deep shelf, mm -hmm. and you're not using it well, a great tip for a deep shelf is if you don't want to spend the money or you want something, use a baking tin and pull it out like a shelf, right? Yeah. I mean, that's a cheap way to do it, and you could see what you have. Yeah. Another thing I like, oh, here's, here's another categorization. Oh, this is what I love, is when somebody has two almonds in a container. <laughs> Look at this. What is it taking up? Could you please finish this with me? I, I'm telling you, you I, good? my, I, my just son. Just like, eat them. Just eat them yeah. and throw it away. Do you want to know what it is? It's because my son, who yeah. used to live with me, said, I don't want to be the one accused of eating the last brownie. Christopher agrees with that. Just uh, so eat I'm just the last eat it. brownie. Okay, go. See, like, this is why I love pantry organization, because I just get to eat whatever's left over. And it's I good. just... Just get rid of it, though. All exactly. Right. Okay. So let's see. What other tips do I have? Okay. Another thing. 
categorizing. A lot of people keep their teas and their coffees in the cabinet. Mm -hmm. If possible, I actually like to put all your teas and your coffees and your filter in a different cabinet near your mugs because... Mm -hmm. That's where you are. That's, that's what you're doing. doing. You're making coffee, you're doing your mugs, okay. right? Mm -hmm. And that's another way to go. Okay. How do you keep track of pantry items? Well, you know what? You can keep a list and write what you're missing on your list in here and write what you need as soon as something yeah. is, is gone, right? I need more ketchup, obviously. You mm -hmm. don't need I more do ketchup. I do not, no. No more ketchup no more for ke you. I know, no I know. No ketchup for you. That. But I'm telling you, you will save money by being organized. Well, That's and the deal. Food, and, and wasting food is a huge waste, and I think it's one of the um, most upsetting things to throw away. It's like, this was so good. Why mm -hmm. didn't I use it? This fruit was so good two days ago, but I lost it in the back of the fridge, or, you know, this expired. Oh, another thing, okay, so... This is a great tip also. When you're categorizing, mm -hmm. let's say you make pancakes every weekend with oh, your family. Yeah. It's a family activity yeah, you do. Right. Okay. Just put all your pancake supplies in this one bin, right? Mm -hmm. So you would have your syrup, your pancakes, your powdered sugar, whatever you use, um, your chocolate chips, there. if that were. Yeah. Put it together. That way you're not like, okay, it's pancake time. Shoot. Oh, oh, shoot. Where'd I put that thing? And you're grabbing it together. It's all in one place. She talks Boom. to the she talks to the cupboards. She's the cupboard whisperer. Okay, thanks to Joe Pollock, everybody. Thanks, honey. All right. We'll be right back. Really great. Good. Up next. Reassure yourself that yeah. you're doing a good job as a mom. Breaking down the mom-petitor. Advice on how to deal with the competitive mom in your life.